Hi everybody, my name's Antoinette and welcome to Board Game Inquisition, where we're here to offer you insight and information about the board games you might want to have in your collection. So today we're doing an unboxing video for the very um, beautiful um, Walking in Provence. Um, and this is a game from Emperor S4 Publishers, um, who are one of my favourites. Um, and this is a game that's just come out at Eschenspiel this year, um, in 2019. And I'm very excited to see what's inside the box. So first thing to know is that last year um, Emperor S4 released a game called Walking in Burano. Um, and this is a game, a little card game about um, building different houses or locations and matching certain sets. Um, and I assume that this, um, now that it's come after Walking in Provence, is a similar game. Although the back of the box seems to imply otherwise. But either way, I think this should be exciting. It's from Wei Ming Ling. And it's the six in their small box series. So if you haven't checked them out before, it, it's totally worth checking out Emperor's Four games. Um, and I swear I'm, I'm not sponsored. Okay, so first things first, it's a very small box. You know, it's a nice small little game. Um, this is kind of like linen finished, um, the box itself. And as you can see, it's part of the series. And if you put it on its side, you get this very nice picture. Um, so this is a game for two to five players. It's supposed to take 20 to 30 minutes. And if you're picky, you could line it up with all your other numbered Emperor's Four games and have it like a really nice white row. So on the back of it, um, so you can see it's kind of like a card tile laying game. Um, and the whole idea is it says ready your camera and capture this breathtaking scene. So you have to discover and build scenes, take photos and score. So kind of a really quaint and nice idea. Um, the back of it also tells you that this is a mostly luck based game. There's a little bit of strategy, a little bit of inter interaction. And it's low on their little weight category, which, which makes sense. It's a nice little small box game. All right, let's see what's inside. Super excited to do this. Come on. <laughs> Ugh, there we go. I didn't want to have to manhandle it. Okay. This is not what I was anticipating. Look at this. Like photo grids. So we'll go with the big one first. Can you guys see that? So you see this little grid. So obviously this has to go over the cards you play. I like that. It's got a little like, I like a drone in the middle. Is it? It's like a drone for photos. So there are two of these. What are they calling them? They're calling them grid rulers. So we got two of these. Cool. And then we've got two more. And then these ones like have arrows. Sorry if they're hard for you guys to see, but they're hard for everybody to see because they're see-through. Put my hand on it. I hope. <laughs> okay, that that's already exciting. I haven't seen anything like that in the game before. All right, let's have a look at the the rule book. Ooh, the rule book's made of something. Ooh, very soft. Um, so the overview, yeah, of what we're doing, the components. Yeah, they are indeed drone tokens. You're trying to take pictures with your drones. Photographer tokens. So there's scene cards, photo cards, goal cards, and there's a score pad. Let's have a little look. So how to set up the game. The different types of cards there are, starting area card, goal of the game, I like that, and then there's the how to play, that's good. Emperor's Four have really come a long way with their rule books in recent years, um, well their English rule books, um, which is really nice. So this is all very easily laid out about what you can do and what you cannot do. There's a walking phase. <laughs> Details of the photo phase, so you obviously you're laying them over certain parts to get things in your photo. That's so cool. <laughs> <laughs> That's way better than I give this game credit for. Details of the refill phase, game end and final scoring, all nice in there. The different scores. And then there's an appendix for the goal cards. Um, a scoring example and then it's uh, what I assume is in Taiwanese. Because that's where they're from. Yeah. Very nice. Um, so yeah, that's a really, that's, it looks like a really nice rule book. Okay, what's next? So this looks like... I have no idea. <laughs> These ones, are they listed here? I don't see them here, do you? Am I, let's see. They're just pieces of card. Hmm. I don't think they're scoring pads. No, they're not, because because that's the scoring pad, right? So we have a scoring pad to tie everything up with. Check. Are these starting area cards, scene cards, goal cards? No. I'm not sure what these are for. It obviously looks like you're trying to score them, or they're just reminders of what scores. Yes, that looks like it. So if you can get that many, they're one for each. Yeah, so this is like a reminder of your scorecard. 
Because also, I mean, you can play this with up to five players. There we go. I don't feel so stupid no more. <laughs> so obviously, they have a little advertisement for Walking in Murano, which is like a, a similar type of game. Um, well, also, it's got the walking in in the title. Okay, we'll get to the cards next because they're staring straight at me. Um, and I'm going to have to open them up with my scissors. Ding, ding, ding. There we go. Almost there. I wish there was a better way to wrap cards than other than in giant pieces of plastic. But we may live with it. Also, I thought it was kind of cute that they put some silicon gel in with your cards. So no one get injured. Tiny, tiny silica gel. Cool. Okay, so now let's have a look at the cards. Oh, the card. Okay, so these cards. Yeah, they're all kind of um, slippy and waxy. They're kind of plasticky. They're the good plasticky though. So here we go. So these are like the photo cards. Looks like it. It's got the big drone thing on it. There's a good number of those and they all say C. Okay. And then this must be scoring cards. And it's interesting that there is fractions. And B. So this is the longer. Um scoring things all right and there's an a in those as well and then these let's see are these the ones we put out on the table these are scene cards or starting area cards i think they're starting area cards so what your initial area looks like cards are very nice actually they feel very very lovely and i love the rounded corners and so then these ones must be our scene cards these are things oh there's crop circles <laughs> um and like buildings and lavender fields a windmill, another windmill, some sunflowers. So you can kind of see that you're going to build up a scene here that you're going to want to try and overlay the, the plastic over to take a good photo. Oh, look, that was cute. There's a dog in the lavender field. These are very nice cards. So you, you get the idea. It's beautiful, isn't it? Very quaint. I'll be very curious to play it. Um, right, so what are we left with? We're left with some tiny wooden pieces. So we'll start with the meeples. Your choice for colour of meeples are... Yellow, red, purple, green, and blue. Pretty standard primary colours. They are very much standard little wooden meeples. Nothing really special about the wooden meeples. Good quality stuff. Now drone tokens are unusual. I don't think I've ever seen a drone token before. Definitely not. So they they almost look like um, spacecraft. <laughs> Do -do -do -do. So we'll have a look at the purple one. Oh, they do like to hang it together. There we go. So you get like a little a little drone flying over your heads. That's a nice idea. And then we have a bunch of round circly discs, which are player markers. So I assume these are just for marking particular things, obviously, on the board. Some in each colour. I won't take them out because they're just standard little wooden things. And as you may have noticed, the bottom of the box itself is purple, but it's also got a picture from Provence on the cover on the base. They usually do that in the Empire's Four titles. I always think it's a nice surprise at the bottom of the box. So yeah, this um, has actually has a lot to it for such a, a little game. I'm very curious to see how it plays out. Like, this is an amazing idea. How cool. I'm, yeah, how, how cool. You guys as um, enthralled with this as I am. So yeah, so this is Walking in Provence from Empire's Four Games. Um, super super exciting stuff um, and I hope you enjoyed watching me unbox it um, I'm sure there will be a review coming soon so you can find out a little bit more about it then um, and if you like what I do why not like or subscribe to the channel um, and you can find out when I do more unboxing videos or review videos um, every little thing helps and until next time I'll be here playing games asking questions and trying to figure out how to get my drone over the lavender fields take care everybody bye bye